here is a rock with mineral components rendered transparent and organic inclusions defining microbial structures shown in the yellow and pink. To explore this rock, you can look at a volume, but you can also add an isosurface to highlight the features, as I'm doing here. This part of the video shows what happens when the user moves their head with the head tracking device. The view changes significantly. It's projecting now onto the floor of the cave and two walls on the floor. And if you look up, you can see the top of the cave. The image goes off the wall. You can also view the data by manipulating it by turning the wand. Here, I put the tip of the wand in the isosurface and I move my hand with a six degree of freedom device and explore the data. One of the nice things about using an isosurface with the volume rendering is that you have a specific feature to see within the field of the volume rendering. The isosurface is obscured by the volume elements. In this next part, I adjust the opacity and color of the volume rendering components to look at the relationship between structures in the volume and the isosurface. Here you can see the crystal boundaries and the light turquoise color and they make a web-like shape around the isosurface. color doesn't necessarily mean a better view. Second isosurfaces are also fun. Here I'm pulling one from the original isosurface to a much larger one that includes the whole volume. This is a great tool for exploring the 3G geometry of intricate rock samples. Thanks for watching.